If you search the internet for sonic booms, you're gonna get a lot of pictures like this. And I have news for you, these are not sonic booms. You will see pictures like this posted to the internet with people saying that this is the plane breaking the sound barrier and that is not necessarily true because, well, the sound barrier isn't actually a barrier, but these aren't necessarily going supersonic, they don't need to. The correct term is vapour cone. As the aircraft moves through the air, it creates a high pressure wave as it pushes air out of the way, but immediately behind that there's a low pressure region. As the air expands into this low pressure region, its temperature drops and it drops below the dew point, forming condensation. Now we do see these on rockets and they do happen close to passing through the speed of sound, but it's more to do with the fact that they're still low enough in the atmosphere that there is enough moisture for them to do this and the aerodynamic forces are still high enough to produce that difference. What you need is enough moisture in the air and something to give the air a big enough kick to make that moisture visible. 